Welcome back to Enigma Reviews. So today I'm going to be doing another small independent business, one that I jumped in through the alternative market. Um, I did plan to grab something from this seller anyway because I needed a couple of like Christmas gift ideas and I wanted one particular item. So today guys we're going to be doing this big box from Bubba's Melties. So guys, I've took it out of the main box. It was securely wrapped like always. So, you know, it's super heavy. It smells amazing. I'm gonna get straight into it because there's a lot of information to go with this. So the item I grabbed should be in here. I'm gonna put my glasses on. So Alternative Market, guys, is, um, it's there every month. Different sellers will go on there and promote their items and they will sell them at a reduced cost, which I think is amazing. I won fan of the month last month, which was the October month, which was great because I was, well, I'm always skimped when it comes to the market, guys, because I don't get paid until either before it, way before it, or just after it. So to find out I won and I got £20 to spend was great, but I spent on bubbers with my own money, not with market money. So guys, let's crack it open. I have opened this already, guys, so bear that in mind. It don't look exactly like how Nicole wrapped it, but as you can see, it still looks amazing. The box has got like blood splatter on, based around Halloween, because even though there's Christmas stuff in here, guys, it was based around Halloween as well. So red paper, woohoo, and this is what it looks like. It's a jam-packed box, guys. Nicole's been the naughty girl and put a couple of freebies in there. So thank you for that. You really didn't have to. I really appreciate it. And she gave me a code, guys. Yay. I will give you that at the end. Let's hope I don't forget. Right, let's get stuck straight in. I'll leave my glasses on so I can see. I'm just going to grab out the first thing that strikes me. <laughs> it's the drumstick squashies. I had an addiction on this, guys, early on in the year, and I used to eat. Now, don't don't be shocked. I used to go through about 15 bags a week on squashes. I got my dad addicted to them as well, so <laughs> he goes and buys them every now and again. But thank you for that, Hom. I will put that in my big tin that I've got. First thing I'm going to grab is the one thing I did ask for, which is this Sammy Hain. As you know, I'm going through a Sam phase of grabbing loads of Sam things. I have done a video on that recently, but I didn't want to put this in the video because it's with this one. So guys, this is pumpkin pie. What is in the pumpkin pie? So there is two different versions to the pumpkin. I think there's pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice. This one has um, pumpkin, orange. I can't say this word, Nicole. I'm going to butcher it. Copaiba. Copaiba some kind of orange flavor scented thing. <laughs> Cinnamon, clove and vanilla, guys. Let's have a smell and see if I can notice any of them scents in there, even though I'm not too sure what the orange one is. Mm, I can smell the orange and it smells lovely. It makes the orange, makes it sweet. I'm getting a real strong scent of the cinnamon, the clove, and a, a slight scent of the vanilla. It is beautiful guys this one you can chop up and put in your burner and it lasts for ages will rachel chop this up probably not guys this one cost me um 4.99 i asked for this one on the market so that was that one guys she has i don't know and put the prices down for what i paid or before or after but i got this at a real good price because she did use my code on there as well which thank you for that as well so that was my first item, which is the Sammy Hain, which I'm just going to put over there, guys. Second item will be one of the dips that I asked for, but I don't know which one, guys. So I did ask her to put me one of the dips in, which is £5, guys. Um, oh, There's two dips here, guys, in the horror bag. So as you can see, I've got two. Um, if I just say this one, for example, which is the Carn... Is it the Carnage at the Carnival? Yep. So it's the, it's the It Clown, which I'm not a fan of clowns, guys, or dolls, but it's wax. Let me just, oh, oh my Lord. Oh, that is really strong. So guys, how bloody good is she to do that? Again, you can break this up, guys, and put it in your burner. Some people will not do that. I might be one of them people, guys, that don't do that. So this one is Carnage at the Carnival. Let me just give you a rundown 
of what is in it. So, Pennywise. So it's got red fruits, cinnamon, ginger, and winter mint, leading to a delectable heart of popcorn. Creamy melted chocolate and worlds of freshly spun candy floss. I can smell the candy floss in there. All of this is calmed by a lingering base of musk. Um, fetid, oh, it's got amber. Lingering bane of musk, fetid amber. Oh, right, okay. So you break up. Five pound, pick and mix raffle. That was the one. Carnage at the carnival. I think I have got a, a pot. I, I have, I've got a clam pot of carnage at the carnival. This one smells a lot stronger. Oh, oh God. Mm, that is amazing. I can smell the red fruits in there, guys. Smell the candy floss. I do get a hint of chocolate in there as well. The musk, I can, I can smell it. I think the musk will come stronger when you burn it. I think it's one of them scents that you'll it'll outpower, overpower all the other scents. Mm. So this one I got free, guys. So thank you for that, Bubba. I am so chuffed with that. And then there was this one that I paid for, which is five pound. This one, as you can see, is Banshee's Tears. I know that this is Bubba's favorite scent. Let me just, wow. I don't think I've had this scent before. But we all recognize this, guys. It's the Beetlejuice. <laughs> I'm so good how she does this. Again, it's one of them that you cut up and break up, guys. Woo! I'm just gonna close it while I get the... So this is a sweet, warm, musky fragrance of lightly lighting a jack-o'-lantern, guys. And hiding at home from the banshees, cries coming down the beat pogs. <laughs> the beat pogs. I love a, a little explanation on it. So, yeah, guys, this one is um, five pound, obviously, the pick and mix one, Banshee's Tears. Now, she does this in a lot of different forms. I think I may have got another one of these guys in Banshee's Tears, but not like Beetlejuice theme. But we'll come back to that when I get to it in this box. So that's that one, guys. Well packaged, really nice packaging. I mean, it's, it's a treat in itself, isn't it, guys? I know you can't eat these things, but I think they're, they're still what I'd call a treat. So let's move on, guys. I'm gonna go to my first clam, um, which is toasted marshmallow. I don't know if I've already got this. If I have, I might put this aside for my daughter. So this one, toasted marshmallow. Let me have a smell. This is the clams, guys, and it has the, the glitter on top. The idea of the glitter, guys, is when you do burn your segments, it just leaves this really nice glitter oil in your in your pot, and I think it looks really, really pretty, especially when you put a light down on it and you stir it. So, toasted marshmallow, a sweet, sugar, a sweet sugary accord with notes of vanilla and candy floss with hints of fruits. Yeah, I can smell the vanilla. The vanilla is the first thing that hits me. And then you, as the more as you smell in, the fruits hit you. But that's that one. These are £3.50, guys, for your clams. I think they are really good value for money, the clams, guys. I mean, my, my skull burner is tiny. I only put one in. But on my Yankee Candle burners, I tend to put two in. But, yeah, amazing. They smell absolutely amazing. Guys, I'm going to open this one because, like I said... Yay! So this is the Banshee's tier one that I told you, but I got a uh, melty butter. Um, Price-wise, melty butter. Let's have a look. I think it might have been £12, guys, for the melted butter. Obviously, I got it cheaper, guys, because I to use my code. £12 normally in Bubba's shop, guys, but if you use my code, you can get it cheaper. So have a think about that. So it smells just like the one I've just done, guys. Oh, wow. So it's got the little screamy man on there, just to remind you what Banshee's Tears is. It's a sweet, warm, musky fragrance of lighting a jack-o'-lantern, guys. And hiding at home from the Banshee's cries coming down the peat box. I love it. <laughs> I can understand why this one's her favourite. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So guys, what do you do with this? You can actually just take this little melt off and put him aside, so if you don't want to start don't do what I did with my other one, guys. I totally butchered it. I didn't even realise that you could just pick it off. But pick that off, guys. And then it is really, really soft. As you can see, my finger's going right into it. So you just scoop how much you want. 
and then put it into your little jar not everybody gets these spoons guys she has said you know if she's got one she'll give you one if she hasn't then you don't get one but if like me i've got three now i probably she don't probably need to put any more spoons in mine unless they're for a gift melty butter and as you can see it has a skull on the front and then on there i think these are amazing value guys absolutely amazing value um i have burnt my one what i got i think the, the order before and I, i've burnt it a few times guys and the scent is still as strong um and then it just comes out your pot so easy so you're not scraping or scratching your pot so there's a spoon that comes with that she's actually got her bubba sign on top of that as well um then i've got another spoon reason being is she's put me some salts in here now i think i might have asked for this from the market guys this was from the market i do remember asking for this and i think it was after the market had market had finished i asked for this this is super reasonable guys toasted marshmallow i think they're usually 450 i think i got it for four pounds if i can get in it <coughs> she really does securely wrap these things but with it being salt guys i suppose she would have to make sure it's securely wrapped wow really well wrapped guys as you can see so toasted marshmallow we've already done that scent so let me remind you it's a sugary accord with notes of vanilla candy floss and a hint of fruits so she's well packaged that thank you for that bubba just to make sure it doesn't fall out everywhere because that would be messy and guys oh my lord same scent as the clam but different if that makes sense because it's a different kind of texture oh that's quite a hiss in my that is so you just dip in drop in dip in drop in so it's hints of gray and orange in this guys can you see oh mmm that smells stronger than the clam but i think when you burn the clam then you get the same strength as that's like the strength there already that is absolutely amazing i think i might go back on bubbles in a minute and grab some more of these in different scents because i kind of like the the idea of this um for my mother my stepmom this would be completely easy for her so i might just order a couple of christmas ones to add with her her clam because i've got her a couple of uh, clams as well so that's that one guys four pound fifty worth every single penny right what we've got left now guys are the clams so some of these are the christmas ones that have just been released this sunday i did wait until she'd done them i didn't want to like introduce something that she's not introduced that just wouldn't be right so the first one i am coming to is cold outside <gasps> i've smelled all these already guys I think I sat for about 10 minutes smelling them. Mmm. So it does tell you on the inside, harmful to aquatic life with long lasting effects, dispose in complete container to approved disposal site, blah, blah, blah. And then it contains, it tells you what it contains inside that one. Cold outside, right. These clams guys are £3.50. Obviously I'll get them a bit cheaper if you use my code and I get them a bit cheaper if I use my own code. Cold outside is a fresh serenade of cool watermelon uh, yeah watermelon iced rose water and orchid which delicately entwines and creates a beaut a bountiful flakes i think that said i couldn't i'm sorry i couldn't read the writing and that's my pictures fell on the floor glistening with evergreen balm and white musk oops never mind cold outside and my picture fell on the floor <laughs> So I can smell the watermelon the minute I put it to my nose. Mmm. I can smell the white musk as well, guys. I'm getting glitter on my nose. Mmm. That is a nice combination. Really nice combination. Now, I like that, but I think my stepmom will like that as well. So I think I may put that aside for her and grab myself one from the alternative market so that is that one guys three pound fifty these clams absolutely amazing cabin in the woods i think we've had that one before or i've had that one before guys it's got like the red like it looks like blood stained inside the clams these are brilliant so it says cool and revital 
revitalizing this fragrance comes alive through a festive palette of pine sparkling hints of lemon and menthol nuances of eucalyptus mm. all of this reaches into a heart of winter fruit enhanced by floral touches of jasmine and lavender i love lavender while the warmth of amber moss and musky undertones complete the fragrance i love the sound of this one guys i'm just gonna i have smelled them already but before reading that oh wow i can smell the pine definitely smell the pine coming through on my second smell i can smell the lemon and the eucalyptus and i can smell the jasmine as well i can't smell the lavender but I, it is there and i can smell the musky undertones i think that will come into once you burn it that will come a little bit stronger I love her combinations of scents. They're amazing. I love that. I don't know if I've already had Cabin in the Woods before. If I haven't, I think I'll keep that one for me because I really like that one. Again, guys, £3.50. Oh, I think I might have to keep this one. So this is the Ginger Dread House. Every year I buy ginger candles. I can't help it. I absolutely love the smell of ginger. I just love it. So Ginger Dread House. I think this is one of her Christmas ones, guys. These are now available to buy on her shop. So if you want to go and grab them before they sell out, because trust me, guys, they'll be gone before you know it, especially when it comes to the market. So Ginger Dread House. Tantalising golden syrup excites the senses, drawn out with coconut flakes and sweet icing, mm, which are delicately woven into the rich cake of vanilla, cinnamon and clove. Right, so quite a few there. Let's see. What, I bet I just smell the ginger before I smell anything. Oh, no. Actually, I got a, a good whiff of the vanilla cinnamon and the clove. I can smell the golden syrup and I can smell the coconut as well and it does have that sweet after scent mmm I've got to keep that one that one's lovely and she's put the glitter throughout it guys so that's gonna look really really pretty in your burner so that is the ginger dread house guys um remember she will do these in the I think she'll do them in the, the butter melties maybe in the salts as well if she does I'll be torn between whether to get just in the salts because I just think they are really, really nice. Right, cosy sweater weather. Let's have a look at this one. Cosy nights in cashmere and musk, festive spices of cinnamon and clove, winter floral harmony of jasmine, violet and rose. All of this gently descends onto the warmth of saffron, woods, cashmere and a whisper of creamy vanilla. Guys, these clams are like 50 to 60 grams in the six pieces like i've said they last you quite a while even if you burn two i i will use it again the night after and possibly the night after that and then i'll get i'll dispose of it and choose somewhere else mm, i like that one there's a lot of scents going on in that one guys mm, i can smell the vanilla i can smell the cinnamon and clove and I'm getting a slight scent of the jasmine and a bit of the rose. Yeah. They always say smell the lid rather than the product because the oils go to the top of the lid, but I'm not sure if that's the same for these kind of things. That smells amazing. Um, I'll probably give that one to my mother, my stepmother, um, but I do like that scent myself. Again, guys, £3.50. There's only two more left in here, guys. So we've got the Enchanted Woodland. This one releases a refreshing lush green fragrance with freshly cut leaves enriched by hints of... Ooh, I can't read that. I can't read my old writing. <laughs> hints of a gramony fir, rosewood and thistle. I think this one actually might be better for my stepmom. I think there's a scent in here she's going to really love. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. That is lush. Freshly cut leaves. Yeah, straight away. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bubba, I want these. Oh, that is, oh, that is amazing. I really do like the scent of that. I think my husband's going to like the scent of that. 
I may have to grab a couple of these myself. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I really do like that smell. Um, I can't say I've, I, I know what the other items actually like the agrimony and fir, and rosewood and thistle. I don't know what they smell like in general, but that is beautiful. I can smell the freshly cut leaves along with other other amazing scents. Oh, I think that one's my favourite so far. I absolutely love that. I would really like that in salts or a butter. So yeah, definitely. Cocoa by the fire is the last one, guys. Rich cocoa bean opens the blends with velvet, velvety shimmer, whilst royal amber sparkling spiced flames that dance on a cedar base. Mmm. Don't think I've had cocoa by the fire. They do this in the butter, guys. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. Mmm. I do get a, I do get like a musky smell from this. I think it might be the spiced, spice smell. Rich cocoa beans are opposite with velvet is shimmer whilst royal ambers. Yeah, the royal ambers guys that I'm smelling and the cedar base. Oh, that's nice as well. That's luxurious, that one. That's, I think that was, I think that one's Christmas without a doubt. I think they're all kind of, they all some of like base around Christmas, but that is my ultimate favourite. I do like Cocoa by the Fire. Oh, I, I'm not going to choose. I'll be here all bloody day trying to choose them. So that is my um, Bubba's Melties, guys. She has put in some cards. Obviously, these are to do with the Melty Butter. It says, highly scented soft wax in a tub. Simply scoop the required amount into your burner do not add anything else allow to melt and fragrance your room once finished simply scoop out and discard all biodegradable ingredients tub can be reused or recycled 100 soy wax with organic oh i can't read what that says though it's got gray on it and fragrance oil best photos on social media will get prizes oh bless so she's probably two of them in there one for me to keep one that i can pop into my stepmoms because i think i might let her have the the butter mat wax she's put me another badge in there i've got one from last year i'll put that on my jacket and then last but not least the bubba's melties awareness i'm not going to read all that guys because i've read it in every time i've done a video but if you don't know um bubba's it's about chronic fatigue syndrome me is what Bubba has and she also has chrondomalacia vitella which I also have so I do sympathize with that but it's also anyone who has chronic syndrome disability disability illness mental health illness these are just that pick me up that you need when you do suffer from these illnesses guys and it says Bubba's melts scented wax melts and candles vegan friendly and cruelty free raising awareness for chronic illness mental illness and disability and made in Northern Ireland do not eat and then it has insta slash facebook at bubba's melties bubba's at gmail.com and www.bubba'smelties.com i will put all the info in the description box below guys go and check this out she's got all her new scents on there guys i've been on there myself looking going oh i've got so much to buy for christmas i can't really buy anymore but i really do want more because i just i just love bubba's melties i just absolutely love it go and take advantage of my 10 percent code it's capital letters enigma 10 it's there for you guys to use it gets you 10 percent off all right guys take care and i'll see you on my next one whenever that may be but thank you bubba Mwah. really appreciate the freebies and i'm just gonna have to try and make a decision on what i'm keeping and what i'm i'm, I'm gifting but i think i'm there's gonna be another order guys there's gonna be another order i don't know if i'm gonna do a video on the next order because i may have to pack it away all right guys take care and i'll see you in the next one bye for now Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.